let's get Linus Torvald's thoughts about open source hype, as well as corporations and open source projects like the Linux kernel, which has been a bit of a contentious topic over the last few years, especially with some big corporations such as RHEL making big decisions that affect the Linux community and open source in general. What kind of challenges does open source face? Is Linus optimistic about the growth of open source? We're gonna learn about all of that. Here's a recent conversation that Linus had with Dirk, who is the head of the open source program office at Verizon. Let's get into what Linus thinks about the current state of open source at this recent event. Yeah, we all know kernel development is the peak interest of, of things a person can do. So I, I am Why sorry, are people laughing I should that? not have repeated that <laughs> sentence. Um, what is interesting to me is to now extrapolate from this and look at the larger open source community because one of the things that we've seen just in the last three, four years is that a lot of the large companies who have very, very aggressively funded open source development for so many years seem to have stepped back a little bit. Lots of layoffs, lots of companies noticeably reducing their involvement. And since many of them are sponsors of this event, I will not name them, but uh, it's easy enough to figure out. And so at the same time, we see more and more attacks on the, the fabric of how open source works on this trust model you just talked about by threat actors, be it criminals, be it nation states, whatever. So to me, this, this overall question of how can we improve the health of the idea of being a maintainer in open source is something that I'm very interested in. And one of the things that Linux has done so amazingly well is to have had an incredibly deep bench of a lot of people involved and a lot of people who aren't afraid to speak up and, and say, hey, this is wrong or I don't like this or this is a mistake. And is there a way to take what we have learned in Linux and apply this to a broader set of projects? I, I actually think that question is very pessimistic in itself because I remember when I was young, long, long ago, uh, and uh, open source as a, as a name was only very new. And I think the open source communities today are much better off than we used to be. Uh, and yes, there are technology layoffs and they seem to be very cyclical and it's a very, it's not necessarily always a nice industry to be in. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like open source is doing very well. Uh, I th people, take open source for granted now in a way that they absolutely did not uh, just two decades ago. And, uh, and maybe that then has resulted in some more negative commentary and, and more attacks. But, but I, I would say that one of the strengths of open source is that it is now so ubiquitous that, that y y as a new programmer in particular, you can use open source as a way to enter the, this not so nice industry always and, and make connections without necessarily having gone to the right schools or, or having the personal connections that you often need in, in many other industries. So I think open source is doing really well. I, I, I agree, open source is doing well. It's much more this question of how do we create more sustainability. But one thing that you just said really find, I find interesting, new people coming in. So when, when we all started a few decades ago, it was a much smaller, much simpler world. Today, everything is hype versus reality. And before anybody thinks I'm not just talking about AI, um, we have so many projects that seem to be all about the quick buck, about the quick exit versus things that are you know, making a difference. If you were starting today, do you think it would be easy to find interesting, rewarding, long-term, useful projects? I don't think that has ever been easy. 
I mean, uh, what has happened is that there's a much bigger mass that can do so, and, and all the infrastructure is there, so it's so easy to basically do a few web clicks and you have a GitHub repository and you can start doing open source and you don't have to explain why you're doing open source because people take that for granted now. So there's a lot more of these small projects that you would never have seen 30 years ago because it's so much easier. Um, but it was never easy to find something meaningful that you could really spend decades doing, and I don't think that's easy today either. Uh, you just have to come up with something that you're interested in, but at the same time, you're not the only one interested in it. Uh, that's, I think, one of the problems is that people say, hey, do what you love, but if you if what you love is something that nobody else cares about, you're not going to create the next big successful open source project. So, so you, have to, you have to love something that is meaningful and, and you have to find it. And, and that's sometimes hard to do, especially in, in the tech industry where so much of is about the hype. And everybody is following everybody else like lemmings off a cliff trying to chase the next big thing. And, and I don't think that's a successful strategy. I, I think you need to find something that isn't what everybody else does and, and excel at that and be the first to do something slightly different. You called me earlier negative. I was hoping we would end this conversation on this wonderful, inspiring highlight. Linus telling the community where to go and make a difference. Yeah. Instead, we're ending on lemmings falling off a cliff. Wow. Uh, I, I, I have the zero minutes left, so unfortunately I can't rescue this with an incredibly clever question. Uh, but I think we'll just leave it here and tell all of you, you are not the lemmings he's talking about. And <laughs> enjoy the week in Vienna. The weather is supposed to be much better. And thank you, everyone, for making it in with all the flooded roads and tunnels and whatnot. And have a great show. Thank you. Thanks to the Linux Foundation for hosting this event and conversation. If you want more of this video or you found this conversation interesting between Linus and Dirk, check out the link in the description below. Linus and Dirk both talked about the challenges and newly created opportunities in maintaining a large complex open source project like Linux. Overall, Linus here seems optimistic about open source, mentioning that it's doing overall well. Even though there are some acknowledgements of people maybe taking open source for granted, this seems to be countered by further optimism from Linus, who is excited and thinks that there's been a huge influx of new programmers who now have an easier time starting with contributions and less barriers of entry than ever before. That's pretty awesome to hear, especially from someone who manages such a profound and large open source project, especially over the last 30 three years of it. Let me know what you think about open source and do you think it's easier to find something meaningful that you can contribute to nowadays? I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.